and welcome to What's Happening in the Library in December. I'm Sarah. And I'm Elizabeth. And we got a busy month. Yes! This month. It's Happy Christmas! Holidays. I mean, Merry Christmas. <laughs> happy Christmas is what <laughs> and the happy New Year. Say. Yes! It's exciting. We, got a, we do have a busy month. It's kind of nice. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. To kick off, we have um, two authors coming in December. So we're really excited. So James Chandler. Who's also from? He's from here in Gillette. Mm -hmm. um, he's actually his name is Paul Phillips. Don't tell anybody. Honorable. Um, Paul I mean the Honorable Phillips. Paul Phillips. Yes. Um, but anyways, he writes under the name James Chandler, and he writes um, he writes uh, like uh, military mm -hmm. military kind of um, fiction, Mo legal thriller. Yeah, I they're really. I read genre. one mm -hmm. a couple months ago when I saw that he was coming, and I was like, oh, this is good. Yeah. And his books are really popular on yeah. Amazon. They're like on the list yeah. high up, so that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. good bragging rights. So anyways, say. he's coming on December 2nd um, at 7 o'clock at the Gillette Library, and that'll be, he'll do a, a talk and everything, and mm -hmm. I think he's also signing books and stuff yeah, at that's the great. end. Yeah, so. great. Christmas gifts for yes. book lovers. In your Actually, that's really a good mm -hmm. idea for Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, our absolute our favorite in um, December is Craig Johnson is going to be here on the 12th. So this is a Sunday after hours event. So Sunday at five, um, he will be in the atrium at the Gillette Library um, doing his annual Christmas story. And then, you know, just he's being- He's got a new book. He, yes, he does. Yeah, so he's gonna yep. be talking, reading from that. And yep. I'm sure he'll be doing book signings on that. So oh, yeah. another great Christmas gift. And we're trying to help you out And he's here, in people. person this year, which mm -hmm. we're super excited. So if you've never seen Craig- He's so he entertaining. He is, oh, I don't know. He is just one he of the best the humans. Yeah, yes. he, he's great entertainment. Yeah crowd favorite I mean yeah. and he will chat with everybody make mm -hmm. everybody feel important he's just mm -hmm. amazing we love Craig so he's coming on the 12th um, what else we got um, Santa's coming <gasps> Santa yeah I know him <laughs> <laughs> okay Santa is coming <laughs> Wednesday December 8 3 to 6 in the children's library and I think he's headed to right yes uh, also on December 8th right. um, at 345 so um, make sure you bring your cameras and your kids can get a picture with yeah. them and they're going to be doing a take home craft that day. And so it's really exciting. Yes. Um, we got grab and go kits galore for kids, teens and adults this month. All through the month. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for some extra things to do while everyone's off of school and yep. work, come on, come by the library. Uh, we have the um, story time break will happen yes. um, towards the end of the month. That is December 21st. Yes. And it also lasts pretty much through the whole month of January as mm -hmm. well. So, so about six doing, weeks they're off. Yeah, and they do their play to learn starting in January. Yeah. And so that's just play time. They bring out maybe some newer items that they don't see every day when you yeah. come to the children's library. And it's just a program to you know help you learn and play with your kids. and. Yeah. It's, it's great. It's, it's really cool. They have some really cool mm -hmm. items in there. My nephew loves it. So, yeah. That's an endorsement. He's four. So, <laughs> if you have four and adjacent children, they will like Just it. Adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have the book fair coming. The team oh, the volunteer yeah. ran a book fair, and it starts uh, Monday, December 6th at 5. And there's a lot of different times for that. It kind of goes around what volunteers' schedules they have. And so, check our website or the calendar for. Um, times on that yep. and another great another plug for great Christmas, Christmas gifts. gifts. Yeah, because <laughs> they have all kinds of ages books on that mm -hmm. one. So kids, yeah, why has a lot going and... on this month? Yeah, they do. They have an escape room. They have the winter reading challenge on yep. Read Squared. They have a hot chocolate bar. And that that that's, sounds that's way fun. I'm going to. Yeah. No. So Read Squared is our online reading app. We do use it for like summer reading in the summer, but throughout the year we have challenges um, for different you know children's. Um, youth and also uh, adults. So just sign up for the app and sign in with your card and yeah. um, you can kind of get notified for when those reading challenges go live. So. And then the quilt auction. Yes, so the quilt auction we do every year. It's actually set up right now. Um, they set it up, what was mm -hmm. it, yesterday? Yep. Um, and then it runs through the um, 10th of December. So what it is is a whole bunch of people, great friends of the library, have donated quilts or things that have been quilted. So, so mm -hmm. there's pillows and table runners and things like that. And it's a silent auction um, for proceeds going to the Library Foundation. Uh, so we run that uh, November and December, and there are some amazing quilts. I was walking through there yesterday. There's a cute there little yesterday. hedgehog one, yes. and it's adorable. So cute. There's Great some, talent yeah. displayed up there. It so is, and there. Come check it out. Even if you don't really want to bid, cool. come and look at the art that is quilting. Yeah. You know, it, it is or find a librarian's name and just bid them all up and then just leave. <laughs> 
and then they'll have to come back in and bid you. So I'm just selling their strategy. <laughs> huh, I feel like this has been done before. I do it to my fellow librarians. I think it'd be funny if a patron did it. <laughs> so what else do we got? That's, that's about it that's for December. It. So um, we are closed. So we're open only half day on Christmas Eve. This is both libraries. Half day on Christmas Eve. Um, we're closed on Christmas because it's a Saturday, Sunday, and then that following Monday, so the 27th, we're also closed. And then we're closed uh, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of January. So um, just a little bit of closure, closure information there for the holidays. But Yeah, and come to the library and during your breaks and yeah. come find what's going on. Oh, I forgot to mention. Oh, dear. We are having live <laughs> Christmas music on our grand piano oh, by our yay. tree the week of Christmas. So we put up the really tall tree in the atrium, and then the week of Christmas, after all piano recitals are done, we are going to move our grand piano into the atrium, and throughout parts of the day, we're going to have live Christmas music by well, pianists awesome. all, all throughout the town. So that's we're going to have kids and before. adults. I know we're super excited about that. So if you like Christmas music, which who doesn't like Christmas music, at Christmas, <laughs> um, come during the week of Christmas, um, and you'll be able to see that. So. Great. Yeah. All right. See you in 2022.